Hi, welcome to my channel, Stay in Focus and Flight. Today we're going to be discussing four reasons why I decided to return my GoPro Hero 7 Silver coming up. Reason number one was because I found out that I wasn't able to attach any kind of external mic to the device and I'm using this device to record some of my lessons that I take as a pilot and I wanted to also record the ATC audio at the same time without having to sync it during the editing process. So that was one of the main reasons why I felt like maybe this Hero 7 Silver wasn't gonna work for me and that I should return it. Here's an example of what the Hero 7 Silver's internal mic sounds like. Radio, switching, passenger briefing, seat belts, air vents, fire extinguisher, exit door, helping watch the traffic, your questions, and we're doing going to uh, local, I'm sorry, Lewis. All right, mixture rich. Car feed is in. Timer. Your student's going on solo? What's that? One of your students is going on a solo? No, he's finishing up his check right? Oh, yeah. So. Well, reason number two was that you're not able to remove the battery. And since I'm using it while I'm flying, and most of the time I'm flying for around two hours, I don't want to have to worry about the battery dying while I'm filming or having to land and find an electrical outlet somewhere to plug the GoPro in to recharge the battery. So that it's unfortunate, but that's how the GoPro Hero 7 Silver is designed and manufactured. So that was reason number two, that I felt like the device wasn't gonna work for me. Number three was that you're not able to add ND filters. So ND filters are like sunglasses for the lens on the GoPro. It helps reduce the glare from the sun. And I normally fly in the morning uh, between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. So the sun is rising. And after using the GoPro Hero 7 Silver for a couple of weeks, I noticed that a lot of the footage wasn't usable because it was ruined by the glare from the sun. Here's an example of some footage that was ruined by the glare from the sun. So the fourth reason is that you only have one view, which is wide view. You don't have linear view or super view, you only have wide, and it doesn't matter if you record in 1080p or 4K, that's your only option that you have with the Hero 7 Silver. So after considering all these four reasons, I just felt like even though the, the camera is really good, the picture quality was great, I didn't think that it was really going to fit my needs, and so I decided to return it. Now, with that being said, if you're looking for an underwater camera, this is the perfect camera for you. It's completely waterproof. You don't have any kind of removable parts like the battery. You're not going to need ND filters underwater. Last time I checked, fish don't talk, so it's not like you need an external mic. And I mean, you're probably going to only record in wide view anyway if you're snorkeling or scuba diving because you want to get as much of the you know, capture as much of the scenery as possible. So I don't see why you would need linear view underwater. So if you're looking for a really good underwater camera, I think the Hero 7 Silver would probably suit your needs. 
Also, I just want to add, I had a 32 gigabyte SanDisk micro SD um, card and I could get two hours and 15 minutes of footage on that, which is actually pretty great, you know, considering like the Hero 6 Black with a 32 gig 1080p, you can only get about an hour and 15 minutes. So like I said, it's not a bad device. It just didn't suit my needs. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Before you go, check out me greasing this landing at DuPage Airport.